Jonathan Haggerty has been making waves in the Muay Thai scene since he was a teenager. Their British striker isn't just considered a generation of talent, but he is arguably the best foreigner in Muay Thai ever. Jonathan Haggerty, aka The General, is a dangerous and a ferocious striker, and has a tendency to not only deliver amazing performances, but go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the best fighters in the sport of Muay Thai. In this video today, we're going to take a look at Jonathan Haggerty's accomplished career from his early fights in the UK to his most recent championship winning fight. This is DBD Fight Club. Welcome back. Jonathan Haggerty has been training Muay Thai since the age of 7 with the help of his father. It was quite evident that there was something very special about him and it wasn't long until he made his professional debut. Dream big mate. You know, sky's the limit. We start this video in 2014, where an 18-year-old Haggerty is fighting in the regional stadiums of Thailand. Haggerty showed signs of elite level striking, taking his time to pick his shots to finish his opponents and add some hype to the Haggerty name. A few fights later, he returned to London to fight in the first MTGP event. Haggerty was able to take advantage of his opponent's rush, initiated the clinch, and landed some brutal elbows to the top of his head. He did a phenomenal job throwing some beautiful boxing combinations and finishing it off with a knee to the face. The general earned the chance to fight for the ISKA Super Featherweight title in 2016. The fight was very one-sided as Haggerty initiated the action throughout the fight. He was able to cut the distance and land some very nice elbows to the head of his opponent. the fight, the commentators were quick to label the performance as a masterclass from Haggerty. Don't be fooled by the cage, this fight was a scheduled Muay Thai matchup at UC MMA 48 in London, England, and a very quick matchup nonetheless. This very performance set the pace for his next fight, in which it was a switch lead kick that stumbled his opponent and was finished on his feet. Well, don't blink, ladies and gentlemen, especially if you're watching home. And as I say that, it's an onslaught. At this point, Haggerty was making headlines in the sport and was getting the attention of larger Muay Thai promotions and even some very experienced fighters. In his 11th professional Muay Thai bout, he faced the seasoned veteran Ja Kyat Pontip who had nearly 200 more fights than the British Jonathan Haggerty. The start of the fight was typical for the Thai fighter, taking the first round to study and get familiar with Haggerty's style. The general took the opportunity to strike first, showing some clean boxing combinations and a couple signature Haggerty elbows, aka the spike elbow. While slipping and taking a kick near the end, he had done enough to win the first round. Despite maintaining patience and really good distance management, Haggerty is also a risk taker and likes to throw teeps and elbows at the surprise of his opponent. Jaw's experience started to show, initiating some tight Muay Thai clinches and sweeping Haggerty off his feet. He was still quick to return some strikes, but Jaw was setting the pace and was now more in control of the fight. Despite showing much better stand-up and striking, it was ultimately Kat Pointeep's sweeps and clinches that awarded him a razor-sharp decision. However, this was still a massive moral victory for Haggerty, as he was starting to show the world he can fight the very best in Muay Thai. In his next fight, he had a point to prove, and began to do so in the first 5 seconds by landing a beautiful switch lead kick to the head. In the second round, he threw the same switch kick at the same time to score a knockdown, and a leaping left kick knocked out his opponent for good. Beautiful high kick by Haggerty again throws another high kick, and it's over! The buzz surrounding Jonathan Haggerty was rising rapidly, and with that came stiffer competition. Before fighting against his toughest challenge at that point in his career, he made easy work of Spanish fighter Isaac Rea to secure the WBC Super Featherweight title in Muay Thai. In 2018, he welcomed Muay Thai sensation and prospect Super Lek in his first fight on European soil. And yes, 
This is the very same super leg who is the current one championship flyweight kickboxing champion. Unlike Jacques Pontip, super leg came out much more aggressive, initiating the exchanges and throwing some very heavy leg kicks. Super leg took control of the ring, forcing Haggerty to the ropes a few times. But Haggerty wasn't being quiet. He threw some impressive teeps and a nice sweep to sit down Super Leg. Yeah, just ready to go pop at any time. Unfortunately, at the end of the second round, a cut on Haggerty's eyebrows forced the doctors to waive the fight. Despite losing the match and watching the tie celebrate in front of the English fans, Haggerty was smiling, and rightfully so, because despite his lack of experience compared to these types of fighters, he proved to himself that he has what it takes to become a superstar in the sport. Even with a so-called stain on his record due to a doctor stoppage, Haggerty was able to secure a contract with the largest combat sports promotion in the eastern part of the world, one championship. In his first fight, he faced the Italian-Moroccan fighter Joseph Lazeri. He disrupted Lazeri's timing very well by throwing teeps and feints to have him second guess, and with 30 seconds left to go, he unleashed a spike downward elbow from hell. Boxing was on point, and his kicks were superb. Round here, good job deflecting that body shot. He told me he worked on that left kick. It was Haggerty's striking and fighting IQ that would award him the decision victory. It was arguably one of the best debuts in one championship history, and his next fight was one for the history books. In 2019, Sam A. Gang had that was the face of Muay Thai in the one championship promotion. The Thai national had over 370 wins to his name and the one flyweight Muay Thai belt around his waist. After an incredible debut against Laziri, the 22-year-old British fighter received the call to fight for the belt and do the unthinkable. The first two rounds served as the feeling out process, but Haggerty was quick to establish the tempo by throwing more volume and strikes to edge the opening rounds. Sam A began to increase the pressure, but it was Haggerty who would damage him with a cut and dominate the end of the round with some classic boxing-focused combinations. Nice, right. It was clear from the jump the 22-year-old underdog had no nerves in this fight. Jonathan Haggerty. Towards the end of the third round, Haggerty threw a counter cross to knock down Sam A, and after the standing eight count, he continued to pressure the tie fighter to the ropes. Find the reach out with that parry as it the right hand. The, hand. The, the match was slowly slipping from Sam A's hands and decided to fight back even harder and commit to his own set of dangerous strikes and combinations, primarily to the body. For a brief moment, it was looking like the underdog Haggerty was starting to tire, but then a beautiful rear knee, rear right hand combo sat down Sam A for the second time in the fight. The British Muay Thai fighter gave one of the best Muay Thai performances in recent years. And despite having less than 20 professional fights, Jonathan Haggerty was already a Muay Thai sensation and deservingly the new flyweight champion of the world. The newly crowned champion was set to defend his belt against a Muay Thai prodigy and arguably one of the toughest fighters of our generation, Rotang. His rise in the promotion was also quick like Haggerty's, and now these two were set to clash in a legendary Muay Thai matchup. In the opening rounds, Haggerty was able to control the distance and range, and even threw a beautiful front push kick that sent Rotang backwards to the ropes. He throws long teeps to prevent his opponent's aggression, and likes to mix in small feints by way of knees and stand switches, such moves that make him quite unpredictable, and disguise his attacks. The Iron Man's signature style started to be put on display, by throwing some vicious boxing heavy combinations to the head and body of Haggerty. And while the British fighter wasn't quiet, it was Rotang who would take control over the fight by continuing to rip the body in the head, exploiting some of Haggerty's weaknesses. In the fourth round, Rotang's continued strikes to the body forced Haggerty on his heels and landed a heavy 1-2 to knock down the British fighter. Later rounds, Rotang was able to control the center of the ring, cut the distance between the two and land some damaging combinations when given the opportunity. 
But that didn't mean the fight was completely one-sided, as the British fighter managed to cause damage of his own and make it a very even contest. Under one championship rules, there are no draws, and it would end up being Rotang's aggression and the deciding knockdown in the fourth round that would earn him the belt to become the new flyweight champion of the world. Despite losing the belt, Haggerty wasn't derailed from his goals, as he quickly went back to the drawing board to prepare for the eventual rematch, and five months later, the two met again. Rotang was dominating from the start, and unleashed a barrage of body strikes that would sit Haggerty down in the opening minutes. He was quick to utilize the techniques and strikes from their first match to his advantage, and further exploited the body of the British fighter. Haggerty fought his way back in the second by connecting his strikes and kicks and was finally seeing more success on the feet, but it wasn't enough to keep the tie from marching forward. A couple left hooks to the body dropped Haggerty again. The bloodied British striker wouldn't give up so easily, but Rotang's boxing heavy combination started to wear down the body of Haggerty and would eventually lead to a third knockdown. The end was near, and a left hook to the liver was thrown to seal the deal and knock down Haggerty for good. Here comes Rotang! 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 Despite the back-to-back -back losses, Haggerty took them with pride. This was no reason for him to get discouraged, but rather an opportunity to use those setbacks as fuel to rise to the top of the sport once again. 11 months later, he returned to one to face Taiki Nato. Haggerty came out with full aggression, starting off the night with a beautiful knockdown. He attempted to use a more kickboxing focused approach, ensuring to land quick and effective punch and kick combinations throughout the fight. On the outside side, you hitting that cover, front kick, super. Catch up, sweet. Naito's got to move, man. That right hand is coming over. His pressure was key and was enough to keep Naito on his heels for the majority of the fight. After taking a brief break from the Asian promotion, Haggerty was set to face Arthur Mayer for the ISKA Muay Thai lightweight title in Dublin, Ireland. From the opening bell, it was evident that Haggerty was now the more experienced fighter, and he called to that experience from the start, pressuring Mayer and scoring a beautiful knockdown and a signature spike elbow. It would end up being a lead hook straight right that would send his opponent nearly out of the ring, ending the fight. Fighting some of the best Muay Thai fighters in Asia really paid off, and he was about to fight another one when he returned to one to face Monglopech. Both of these gentlemen came to fight, but it was Haggerty dominating in the beginning after landing some very heavy combinations. Monglopech decided to rip the body just like Rotang, and was finding some success, as there were moments where it looked like Haggerty was gassing out and shelling up. But things would completely change when the British fighter landed a beautiful elbow in the clinch to shift the fight back into Haggerty's favor. In November of 2022, he faced Russian Vladimir Kuzmin in a catchweight bout after Haggerty failed to make weight by a few pounds. A slow start to the first round, but Kuzmin started to apply the pressure to surprise Haggerty. But Haggerty was just getting warmed up and started to land some really nice lead kicks to the head. In the third, he had a beautiful feint and knee to disguise a teeth, but stepped inwards and fired out a rear elbow that would end up stumbling the Russian fighter. The rest of the fight remained quite even, but it was Haggerty who was awarded the win by majority decision. In recent years, the title for most dominant Muay Thai fighter belonged to Nongo. The former Lumpini and Raja Damner champion was now the bantamweight king of Muay Thai of the promotion and was knocking out the competition one by one. That was the case until he fought Jonathan Haggerty. Just like in the Sam A fight, Haggerty was also a massive underdog, but that didn't seem to phase him at all and would go on to deliver the best performance of his career. In the last minute of the opening round, the crowd rose from their seats as Nongo was knocked down, but Haggerty was just getting warmed up. The end of Nongo was near, and the new champion was close to being crowned. Haggerty sensed blood and went for the kill shot. Jonathan Haggerty had just destroyed one of the toughest and most accomplished Muay Thai fighters of this generation, and all it took was one round. The general 
Michael's career was already stamped with much success, and despite some very tough losses, he climbed his way back to becoming a Muay Thai champion once again, and did so in beautiful fashion. Jonathan Haggerty is set to make his one championship kickboxing debut against the current bantamweight MMA champion Fabrizio Andraj. He has made it evident that he wants to become a two-sport champion in the promotion, but we know he has a tough challenge with the Brazilian fighter. The general has already achieved so much in the sport, sometimes it's tough to remember that he is only 26 years old right now. He is a once in a lifetime talent and in my opinion, is one of the best foreign Muay Thai fighters of this generation. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts about Jonathan Haggerty in the comments below. This is DBD Fight Club, and we'll see you next time.